time for our weekly chat with UNA head football coach Chris Willis. The UNA football team, a 20-7 to Gold South Conference win over Delta State. And, Coach, it was a very dominating effort from your defense. And in a roundabout way, it keeps us in that Gold South Conference championship hunt. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just proud of my coaches and players. Uh, they come to every week, every day of every week to work and get better. Nobody's quit. Nobody's give up. And, um, you know, that can happen when things kind of go south at times and you don't win a game or two. You, you start, especially like a program like ours who played for the national championship last year. But uh, the guys kind of know what's going on. you got to be within the do inside the doors and know what's going on with all the injuries and new players. And we talk about that so much now. Um, but, you know, our third team quarterback stepped up and got us a win and helped us finish off the game. You know, Delvon Carpenter, luck like his old self. Our defense is – playing lights out football right now. And uh, I think they're getting better each week. And, and that's a credit to Coach Borden and his staff. And uh, I look forward to moving forward. I mean, we've got a tough opponent coming up Saturday, and we've got to play the same type of defense. In the first half, Coach, I thought Rico Bruton played a great football game, highlighted by an 89-yard touchdown run. Unfortunately, he goes down with an injury at the end of the half. Second half rolls around, and Matt Markham, your third-string quarterback, comes off the bench, and he played an exceptional ball game for you. Yeah, you know, Matt's a guy who who has got a great relationship with the players, so they've got a lot of confidence in Matt. You know, Matt's biggest thing right now, he's not as athletic as Rico, which we all can see. And then the other thing, uh, he's just got to play the game and manage the game and uh, not try to do too much. Sometimes he wants to throw the ball around and across his body. Or he wants to off his back leg. And if he'll just manage the game and do the plays and throw to the one or two outlets that he's got, uh, we'll, we'll be fine, especially the way we're playing defense. He don't have to do too much. This weekend, a road trip down to Pensacola to take on West Florida at Blue Wahoo Stadium, a minor league baseball stadium. What do the Argonauts look like so far this year? Much improved team. Coach has done a great job. You, you know, quarterback, uh, I think he was hurt last year. He wasn't their guy, but uh, just watching him on film, he's going to be a, a tough guy to deal with in this league uh, for the other GSC teams moving forward. But he uh, throws a good ball. He's got a good set of wide receivers. I think he's more of an offensive coach. You can tell. I remember his days back at Pembroke, and they had some good teams. And they're, they're much improved on defense. That's probably the biggest improvement I've seen. And, and they, they're in ball games, got a chance to, you know, they're five and three. Uh, they've had a good season. So uh, I imagine it's probably senior day. I don't know if they got another game at home after that or not. But I imagine, it, you know, the crowd, the, the level intensity is going to be high to high when we get there. UNA football on the road this weekend, taking on West Florida in a Gold South Conference matchup. You can catch the game on 97.1 WBCF-FM.